No apareció el teacher, ¿verdad? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you tonight? Fine, and you? Hello. Okay. Ya apareció la teacher. <laughs> Lo escuché hablando. Un segundo en español, ok. Um, el micrófono, si saben cómo quitarle mute y, y volverlo a poner para que estén todos participando. Okay. También sus cámaras, a menos que tengan un problema, les pediría por favor que la, la enciendan, así los conozco, se conocen ustedes también. Porque no veo a nadie. Okay. Todas personas. Katia Lima, Mirna Ortiz. Ah, hey, sí, también lo veo, Juan Carlos, ahí está. Ok, Noé García, no lo veo. Así que, por favor. Otra cosa, lo que tienen, por ejemplo, de nombre de usuario. Me va a costar un poco referirme a ustedes porque, no sé, su nombre. Me sale, por ejemplo, Icon, Icon. Habría que cambiar esas y poner su nombre, por favor. Okay. Bueno, ¿quiénes son nuevos en, la, en esta modalidad? Yo creo que yo. Solo usted, ¿no es García? Yo, yo también, hey. No, yo ya tengo, ya vengo eh, dos niveles atrás bueno. en esta modalidad. Ok, Heidi, eh, nueva. ¿Katia? No. No. Ok. Yo también soy nueva. La mayoría. Si en el proceso tienen preguntas o algo sobre cómo usarlo, tal vez les puedo ayudar, así que déjenme saber, pero por ahora eso nada más. Poderlo ver, su nombre y que esté indicando el mío. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Bueno, ¿tienen alguna pregunta en general? Escucho bien. Que, sí, lo que les puedo decir y se lo voy a escribir acá, ven todos mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Eh, ok, sí. lo que les puedo decir es uno, usar siempre, no sé si ya les habían dicho esto, pero lo vamos a revisar brevemente. Ok, eh, sería usar eh, audífonos, evitar ruido y solo quizá quitar el mute del, del micrófono cuando estén participando. Entonces, tenerlo en mute. Hasta que vayan a hablar, ¿ok? Y okay. cuatro es siempre completar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Todos los días. ¿Ya todos pudieron accesar? Sí. Eh, sí, yo sí. Ok. I do. <risa> Porque vamos a empezar desde hoy a trabajar con la plataforma. Y bueno, okay. lo mismo del video, ¿verdad? Tener el video encendido. Así que conocen, los conozco. Y participar, porque me ha pasado que hago un grupo de tres y dos están dormidos, creo yo, y uno está queriendo hablar con ellos, no se puede, así que eso, no. Eh, participar, sería la otra. Bueno, además de eso, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Ahora o nunca, porque después empezamos solo inglés, ¿ok? Ya no más español. Su nombre. Eh, veo que... Hola. Dígame. Veo, veo, veo que Zoom, por ejemplo, tiene una opción de... Estaba viéndolo y tiene una opción de levantar la mano. Es que, es que el problema es que, damos, que todos queremos opinar al mismo tiempo o decir algo. Entonces, no sé si, si ve eso cuando nosotros lo hacemos. Por ejemplo, ahorita voy a levantar la mano. Sí, dice el mensaje. Juan Carlos levantó la mano. <risa> Igual algunos no lo encuentran tan rápido como quieren hablar, pero si pueden levantar la mano, está bien, yo lo Ajá. veo y, y, y llamo a la persona para que participe. Y si no, igual hablen también. Yo, yo digo como, permítame, por ejemplo, Katia, le, ahora habla Juan Carlos, pero quizá no vamos a estar hablando tanto en un grupo grande, sino en grupos pequeños. Esa es la idea, de que practiquen en grupos pequeños o parejas y yo estar monitoreándolos a todos. No tanto de que estemos las 20 personas participando y queriendo hablar. Quizá en este momento sí por lo de las preguntas. 
pero como yo voy a estar ingresando los pequeños grupos o parejas, en ese momento cuando ustedes vean que yo ingresé, me pueden hacer preguntas que tengan del tema, por ejemplo, para no hacerlo con tanta gente. ¿Alguna otra cosa? No. Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, vamos a empezar. Y sí, si, I'm going to introduce myself. Ok. My name is Jocelyn Navas. I'm 27 years old. I live in Argentina, not in Salvador, but I used to live there and work for English Corporativo in the past. <laughs> okay. And I'm very happy to meet you all. It's going to be a pleasure working with you. All right. Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right. Great. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Nice meeting you. Yes. All right. So we're going to start. Everybody, please access the platform. It should be yeah. on, on section uh, 1.0. Right. Let's go there. Ajá, todos en mute. A menos que estemos diciendo algo. Okay. All right. Let's read the objective. Let me see. Hey, D, can you read, please? Tienen mute, Heidi. Your microphone is muted. Okay, Katia Lima, can you, uh, Heidi? Yes. Okay. Um, Go ahead. I don't see the... <coughs> okay. No ve el objetivo. Okay. No. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, where, in virus regular and in regular verbs. E.g., I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to able ask the answer question in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Okay, thank you. So everybody is here, right? Yes. Everybody yeah. on this part of the platform, please. Yes. All right, by the way, everybody, repeat yes. and let's say uh, various. 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 Right. Various. Greater. 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 Detail. 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 Right, very good. And that's about it. So let's let's watch the video. All right. Déjenme saber si escuchan. Debería, no debería haber problema, pero veamos. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the. Escuchan bien, sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi everyone. So everybody, mute the microphone, please, and listen to the video. Watch it. All right. One. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes, I know questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements 
in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, it's slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ED. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say, I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't, okay? And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't, and then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions, and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with, did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is, 
English classes in Argentina. There you go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. OK. Um, it's a long topic about the past, right? Everything is included, especially the questions. But we're going to go little by little practicing. All right. The first thing that I want you to practice is everybody on the WhatsApp group. Did you join? Hey, Dicatia, everybody. Let me see. Juan Carlos, are you on, on WhatsApp right now on the group? Nope. Yes. Nope. Okay. Because on your email. Yes. I right? do. I, I am. I okay. am. All right. On your email, you have a link to join the, the WhatsApp group. In case you don't have it, go to your email right now, please. Click on the WhatsApp, uh, the, the link. It's on the information you've received for the platform. Okay. Because I will be sending some information. For example, all right, I'm going to send a picture right now. Give me a second. And let me know if you can see it. All right, take a look. One second. All right, so to the group. I just sent this, if you can see it, right, this image. So go to WhatsApp, please. Oh, you cannot see it, right, it's all white. Right, I sent this image, go to WhatsApp, try to take a look at it. And the first sentence says, for example, it says, was at, at the, the beach, beach yesterday. yesterday. Very good. Can you see that? Yes. yes. All right, so I want you to make a yes, no question. Yes, no question. And for this, to the person you're going to be talking with. So what is the question? If I want to ask, for example, if I want to ask um, Mr. Noe, how do I ask the question? With the subject you, it's a direct question to the person. How do I ask that question? We would say, were you at the beach? yesterday right this is the question guys because we're going to discuss in pairs or in small groups so this is the question and what is the answer what is the short answer yes yes i guess yes i was uh, yes i was and what if you say no yes i was no, i wasn't i didn't no i no i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't, I wasn't. I was at home, for example, right? Then you give details. So this is what I want you to do. And, okay, you have to pay attention to this. For a future reference, okay, um, if you start the question with where, you can answer with where or with was, all right? If I ask the question with did, you say did. Let me give you an example, right? Do you speak 
Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? What's the answer? Quickly, come on. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Yes, I, yes, do. I do. Yes, I do. And look, this is do, and here you have do, all right? Are you happy? What's the answer? Yes, I are. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You answer yes, your am. question with this. With yes, I am. You start the question, all right? Now I tell you, uh, did you speak Spanish yesterday? What's the answer? Yes, I? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Exactly. Yes. All right. So right now we're going to be practicing uh, this, right? Word. So the only option is I was, no, I wasn't. And that's about it. All right. I want you to discuss that question. Um, give me another example, please. What is the second sentence on the phone, right? What's the second sentence? Second sentence was a home all day yesterday. Uh huh. That's the second one. It says was. Let me see. Was at home all, all day yesterday. Yesterday. Yes, I sent this to WhatsApp, guys. Yes. Okay. To the group, to the WhatsApp group. So yes, how do you make a question with this? Were you at home all day yesterday? Were you at home all day? Very good. Yesterday. And what is the possible, what are the possible answers? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. And then I want you to ask a follow-up question. So, for example, let me practice with someone, follow-up question. So, it's not simply that you're going to say, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. I want you to elaborate a little bit more. Let me practice with Jose Armando. <laughs> all right. Um, Mr. Guevara, were you at home all day yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. And what did you do? For example, I, I will ask him another question, all right? What did you do? I was watching video. Videos? Video, yeah. Right, On YouTube. You. Yeah, so you ask this question and then an additional question. Is that clear? Now, we're going to practice the questions. Uh, did everybody see the picture, the image? Yes. Yes. OK, great. So let's practice. I'm going to make groups of three. Let's see, four to five. Groups of three, and let's practice the questions, discuss them. Ready? So everybody click on accept, accept invitation, please. Right, let's, let's do that right now. Everybody accept the invitation, please. Carlos, Guillermo, are you there? Aida. Brenda. Brenda and Guillermo, can you hear me? Uh, a, a little. Uh, can you hear? Uh, so yes. so a little. I I had a problem with the with the audio. Okay, but now they can hear. Let's start practicing. Okay, let's make the first question, um, Mister Noé. The, ask them the first question, please. Okay. Uh, Hola. Hi, are you practicing? 
estamos conociéndonos ahorita, pero falta una. Ah, ok. No, eh, the three of you is all right. Okay. Oh, Aida, right? Aida, are you there? Aida. Aida. Tal vez si le canto, no. Ok. <laughs> so the three of you, Mirna, eh, su teléfono dice Q con BTD. ¿Cuál es su nombre? No es Heidi, ni, ni Mirna, me queda una. ¿Cómo se llama? Karen. Ok, Karen. Sí, si sí puede cambiar su, su nombre para... Pero voy a intentar acordarme, Karen, Karen. Okay. So Karen, Mirna, and Heidi, let's... Uh -huh, let's continue practicing. Do you have questions? Okay. No. okay. Mm -hmm. Where, where I, were you at the cinema yesterday? Mm, yes, I was in cinema yesterday. I, I was watching Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you can say I watched Star Wars. I watched, yeah. How was it? Was it good? Did you like it? Hello, hello. Was it good? No, no, you example, example. Oh, example. Oh, come on. <laughs> I watched, <laughs> I watched uh, uh, Joker. The Joker. Yeah, the oh. Joker. Is a great movie. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Continue, guys. Were you at work at. Um, uh, <clears throat> were you in a car at uh, 7 a.m. yesterday? No, I wasn't because I wasn't home. Oh, okay, <clears throat> very good. So the the another participant, the another the another friend can talk or make a question. Yeah, take turns. We have. Ajá, Juan Carlos, Noé, en José Armando. Ok, Juan Carlos, can right. you make a question? Uh, mm. Do you have the image on what, from WhatsApp, Juan Carlos? Uh, yes. All right. So... From there, from those statements, you're going to ask a question. Right. Who, who, I right. think we lost Juan Carlos. Yeah. All right, the two of you. We're almost done anyway. Okay. One more question or two, and then we're going to finish, okay? Okay. So, Noé? Yes. Noé. Were you stressed yesterday?
Welcome back. I'm still waiting for everybody to come back from the breakout rooms. Okay. okay. Give me a second. Give me five seconds, actually. Hold on. And now we're back. Okay, I'll ask you some of the questions. All right. Everybody participate and quickly say, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. All right, that's all I need you to say pretty quickly. Um, were you happy yesterday? Everybody unmute the microphone. Yes. How about that? All right, and everybody say, yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Quickly. Yes, I was. Yes, were I you was. Were happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, yes I, I was. was. All right. Uh, yes, were you in class last week? No, I no, was. I was. I was. Were you asleep? <laughs> were you asleep at 9 p.m. yesterday? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. You go to bed so early, 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> on a Sunday. Well, it's okay. Um, were you in the car at? No, were you at work this morning at 10 a.m.? Yes, I was. No, yes, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Oh, really? Why not? I'm wondering. Miss Jenny, you said you were not at work, right? Who said I wasn't? Me. Heidi. Uh, Heidi. I don't, I don't <laughs> have a job, not really. Uh, that's why. Okay. No, I was curious. Some people maybe work at night or from home. We don't know. All right. Uh, were you at the cinema, at the movie theater yesterday? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. <clears throat> nope. Were you at home? Yes. Last yes, I night? Was. Yes. Yes, I was. Yes. I was. Okay. Were you in a restaurant Friday night? No, no I, was. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was. Yes, I was. Oh, Jenny? Or? Yes, Sorry. I was. Where did you go? I went mm -hmm. to a pupuseria. Okay, very good. On Friday, let me see. I made pupusas yesterday, actually. So, pupusas for the weekend, right? <laughs> okay, now we're going to practice WH questions. <laughs> Uh, with did, all right? What is the structure, guys? Come on, help me out. Is W word. Yes, WH word plus. Did. Okay. Subject. Subject. Subject plus. Verb. 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 In what form does the verb have to be? Present. In um, the Regular. base form. <laughs> Please form, right, with no changes and complement. Okay, let's make a question uh, using what, for example. So what question can I ask? What? Someone help me. What did? Mm -hmm. We need a subject. Okay, you? give me a name. What did Mary, for example, right? And a verb? Any verb? Watch. Okay, good. What did it? So what did Mary watch um, in the movie theater? Right. And what is the answer? What, what is a possible answer, guys? We're gonna say Mary. Mary. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Mary. A horror movie. What is a horror movie? Okay, good. So in this case, when you answer the question, it has to be in the past. Okay. Um. I would like you to practice making questions, and this is how we're going to do it. 
Uh, I'll send you an image again, right? But before we start, I'll give you an example. Imagine I say, okay, um, right, she went with Tom. What is the question if I start with who? Who went with? She went with Tom. She. Who Tom? Who was? We're actually going to follow who this did. structure. This structure right here. So who, who did? Who did go with? With, with Tom? Who did? With, who did go? What's the subject in this sentence? Who did marry? Okay, so who, we're following this structure, guys. So who did marry? Okay, mute the microphone, especially. If you <laughs> All right, thank you. So who did Mary go with? with. Yes, that's the question. With. All right. Who did Mary go with? Right. Okay, one more example, and then you are going to practice in pairs this time. All right. Another one is um, we we went to the beach um, last month. Okay, and this is the answer. Last month. What wh question do I need to ask to get this answer? Where? When? Where? When? When? Where did you? The question is when. So when, when did when did you you go go to the beach? When did but what is it? You go, when did you go? Did you go? When did we? It could when be you or we. You. <laughs> when did when did we go to the beach? To the beach. Yes. Is this correct? No. When did it? When did go. you go to the beach? Well, you could say when did we, because look, this is a question. We went to the beach uh, last month. And imagine you're like, hey, when did we, mom, when did we go to the beach? I cannot remember. So yes, it is. Okay. All right. Or you can say when did you. Okay. All right. Sometimes we lose memory, so it's a possibility. Are you ready to practice? Okay. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> I want you to write the questions or discuss them. And then once you finish, I will ask you for the questions. All right. I will send you an image right now. Check WhatsApp again, please. And we're going to make questions. Okay. So um, I just sent it. Yep. Okay, good example. And check WhatsApp, everyone. Go to WhatsApp. We're going to do that. Let's practice in um, pairs. I will make groups. Give me one second. Make the question. Um, why is the car? Why so, did someone call us the car? All right. Accept the invitation, please. Everybody accept the invitation, please. Yes. Click on accept. Accept the invitation to join the, the breakout room. Mr. Angel Castillo, did you get the invitation? You're muted. Your microphone is muted. Excuse me, teacher. Did you get the invitation? Hold on. 
Ahí yes. te envío una invitación. Ok. Ah, ok. Yeah. Perfecto. Thank you. Um, where they eat? Uh, where they uh, ate dinner? Yes. Where they, let's call the structure. All right. So, where did? And then the subject, all right? Okay, where did they eat dinner? Yes, the verb is uh, an infinitive. So where did they eat dinner? Okay. And the second will be the third one to be cool. Did, uh, when did, did, when did ring the telephone? Creo. When did the ring telephone? Yeah. When did the ring? I'm confused. When is, eh, en español, cuando? Cuando, ah, cuando sonó. Ajá, está raro. El teléfono sonó, dice. Ajá. So the subject is the phone, right? The subject is ring or rank. No, that is the ring. That is a verb. Ring. So let's follow the structure. The okay? WH did the subject. So when when did did when did the telephone because that's the subject when did mm -hmm. the telephone Ring. The telephone. Ring. Telephone yeah. ring. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Thank Very you. Good. Okay, thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> the party the party start at three o'clock. When did the party start? When did the party start at three o'clock? Yeah, great. All right, the sentence is the party started. That's the past, okay? Started. Started. And, yes, and then the question is going to be the when did the party start? When did the party start? Right, that's better. Try not to say is start, but start. Did start. 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 Say the party started. The party, party started. started. No, parties, the party started. The party, the party started. started at three o'clock. Yes, I will show you later how to do that, all right? But you're doing well. Continue, please. What number are you working on? Eight. Number eight, almost done. All right, very good. Okay. I saw... I saw I saw a ghost. She's Miss Brown. I know what. What? Es como señora. Así what? Miss, what did you, Mr. Brown, buy? Or, no, yes. I, I be, I see Mr. It's a Miss. La miss. Señora. Okay. Miss. I, I saw. Como, como se dice, how do you say mi, señora? Miss Mrs. Oh. Mrs. 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 Brown brought a new Boy. coat. Okay. Mrs. Brown well, bought. Bought, Mrs. right? Bought. 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 What Miss Brown buy a new what Miss Boy. Brown buy a new coat. Okay, what is the question again? What? When did, what did you miss Brown? And what did Miss Brown buy? What did, you buy? <laughs> buy. What did Mrs. Brown buy? Buy. 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 In, <clears throat> in the infinitive form. So what did Mrs. Brown buy? Buy. Right. right. That's and better. Cut. Yes, because that is the answer. No, don't include that. 
Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to oh, yeah. Miss Brown oh, buy. She buy. Oh, she bought a new coat. Okay. I, okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, great. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Number seven. Where did you see it? Uh, mm. Where did you see? Okay. Se refiere, I saw a ghost. Uh huh. Where did you see it? Yes, that works. Okay. I saw yeah. it in the river, <laughs> for example. So yes, it's good. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh -huh. we're gonna go back now. The number nine. Uh, why did she? Okay, welcome back, everyone. Did you finish? Yes. With the majority, at least. Let me see. So, some of the answers. All right. So, you have a number four. Anybody, give me the answers, please. Number four. When did the telephone ring? Perfect. Everybody should have when did the telephone ring. All right. A number yes. two, volunteers, number two. Where did they eat dinner? Where, where did they uh, eat the dinner? Eat dinner, perfect. Okay, next, A number nine. Number nine says why, uh-huh. Why did she go home? Perfect. Everybody participate, okay? Number four. Number four was a little bit confusing for you, right? Yes. yes. For the ring. Just a little bit. Just when a little bit. When did the telephone ring? Yes, this is the one, when guys. Did when did the telephone, because the telephone is the subject, okay? And ring is the it's basic the word, right? So when did the telephone ring? And one more. So this is your last chance to participate. Uh, number three. So three, did you see my three, friend? Three. Who did you see my friend? Who did see my friend, right? It, it says, I saw my friend. And the question is, who? Who did you see? Did you see? You see? No. Yes, guys. Because the ah, okay. uh -huh. Who do you see? Who did you see? Oh, I saw my friend. Oh, okay. Right? Supposedly. <laughs> no, but it's like, who did you see yesterday? Oh, I saw my friend. All right. Not the answer anymore. Very good. I want to give you some um, feedback on the pronunciation. All right. For example, this. I don't see the majority, guys. Everybody repeat. And let's say bought. 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 Both. No, don't pronounce this U. It's not pronounced like that, all right? It's bot. Both. 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 And the same Both. thing with other verbs like this. This is thought. So. Both. Thought. Don't pronounce that U, all right? But It's no. like, it's like so. thought. Okay? So. Thought. 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 Bot. Thought. Bot. Thought. Whatever else it is. Bro. 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 I Bro. Bro. Right. Don't pronounce that you. And here, and I heard some of you saying is started. Don't let's not do that or let's try to stop doing that. We're gonna say, for example, uh -huh, the party started. All right. Repeat it. Say the party started. Party the party started. started. You're gonna say it started. 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 The party started. started. It started. It started. It started. started. Yeah. started. It's like started. if it is together, right? Started. For example, you say, the I study. Started. I study. I study. I study. 
I study. study. I study. Very good. She Don't said, say I, I study. study right now. I study. I study. I study. I study. Good job. I study. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? I would like to see all of you. Miguel Angel, Mirna Ortiz, me escuchan. Can you hear me? Miguel Angel, Mirna. Tienen el mute. I don't know. All right. Hola. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, does your camera work? En mi caso, creo que desactivé hasta el inicio de la cámara, pero no sé cómo. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Eh, ok, bueno, thank you. Yes, eh, hay una opción al principio, pero durante, si usted se va al icono de Zoom, que está en la barra de abajo, puede eh, presionar en el icono de la, de la cámara, que está como bloqueado. Si ya probemos, Brenda, si puede. Y así, pues, usted va a apagar la cámara o volverla a encender. ¿sí? Ah. Que no debería estar apagada. Ahí ya la puedo ver. Uh -huh. <risa> así que prefiero verlos a todos, porque a veces, no sé si les ha pasado, pero es un poco frustrante estar hablando con pantallas negras. No les pasa. Sorry, sorry. Es que no se maneja esta cosa. Sí, no, no importa. El segundo día que lo ocupo. Ah, ok. You had the training. Yeah. Sir, I have a question. Ok, tell me. Eh, esta es la clase de 8 a 9, avanzado 1. Ah, perdón, intermedio 1. Y todos así se quedan. <risa> Es que al principio tenía problemas para conectarme y no, no tenía el sonido. Ah, bueno, okay. y Solo lo veía hablar, pero no, no escuchaba nada. No se sentía incluido. Ay, ¿Sí? <risa> ok, ¿Sí? está bien. No, ya mañana le va a costar menos y cada día un poco bueno a, a todo lo que quiera la plataforma. Okay. Bueno, eh, bienvenidos a todos los nuevos. Si les pareció un poco extraño, cada día va a ser menos extraño. <risa> Nos vamos a ver. <risa> sí. La primera vez. Que tuve un problema que no, no, no tienen idea. No, no me funcionaba nada. <risa> Así que si a ustedes les pasó algo, de hecho lo hicieron súper bien. Quizá porque algunos del grupo ya habían estado en clase o u otras cosas y le ayudaban al, al otro, no sé, pero salió todo súper bien. Eh, ¿Tienen preguntas o comentarios? <risa> Sorry. Sorry, sí. Dígame. ¿Hasta dónde tenemos que avanzar? Bueno, esta semana hay que hacer por lo menos la sección 1. La sección 1, ok. okay. Pero déjenme okay. decirles que de todos modos la vamos a ir haciendo en clases. ¿Qué eh, pasó? Todo lo vamos a ir haciendo en clases. Pero Entonces, sí. si usted está ausente, es la única razón por la que chance, debería ya. hacerlo eh, fuera de, del horario. Pero en clase lo vamos a ir trabajando y practicando. Va a ser así, como plataforma, eh, hacer los ejercicios y practicar. Esa es la estructura que, que vamos a llevar. Okay. Si ustedes están en clase, no necesitan estar tanto trabajando en la plataforma, pero si desean avanzar, está bien. Okay. ¿Alguna otra cosa? Tarea. Para... <risa> Tal vez sería bueno para un, po un poquito avanzar, ya que... Ajá. Como cuando yo iba en, en clase de la mañana, sí. pero por cuestiones de trabajo me he pasado aquí al, a las clases en línea. Uh -huh. Que no me daba mucho horario en el trabajo, entonces perdía parte de la clase. Sí. ¿Pero qué, qué iba a recomendar? No. Ah, que de así estudiarlo, tal vez en la hora del almuerzo, del trabajo. Sí, claro, la plataforma pueden revisar, por ejemplo, el video de ahora súper largo, me imagino que algunos les quedaron dudas, lo pueden ver otra vez, a no tomar apuntes de las estructuras, de lo que se va diciendo, porque sí, en esta clase es como más rápido, solo vemos eso y luego a practicar y ya. Así que si quieren ir a okay. pueden hacerlo o si quieren repasar también, pueden estar ahí. Okay. 
a cualquier hora del día. Si tienen preguntas, nos ayudamos entre todos. <ríe> Estoy Me dividiendo tiene. la responsabilidad en el grupo <ríe> de si les cuesta un ejercicio o algo. Lo mandan al grupo y cualquiera puede responder, ayudarles, o incluso yo si estoy disponible también. Es. Okay. 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 ok, thank you. Good night. It was a okay. pleasure meeting you and see you tomorrow. Ok. Sí, Bye, voy a aprender su nombre. Everybody. Y si no okay. está en clase, le voy a escribir privado. Hola, ¿dónde está? Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> No, en serio, reporten si van a estar ausentes, por favor, porque quiero verlos a todos. Ok. 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 okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.